Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are making this really decadent rosé moisturizing body cream. Like, look how thick this stuff is. It's uh, it's not moving. It's kind of like a, it's like a blizzard. <laughs> So this is a continuation of the rosé series that I've been making things in and for over the last couple of months. And in a bit of a nod to the rosé whipped body butter we did recently, the predominant oils and butters in this are beautiful lightweight camellia seed oil and wonderful, super silky, gorgeous skin feel kupuatsu butter. Because I wanted this to be a thicker, richer cream, we've got a larger oil phase than I would often do. So it is 25% in this cream. I've also included a new to me ingredient in this cream, and it is called Lipomoist 2036 Molecular Film. So this is something that Windy Point here in Calgary started carrying somewhat recently, and so I picked up a jar of it the last time I was in the store, and after reading up on it, it seemed like the perfect thing to put in a lotion that I wanted to be really moisturizing and hydrating. If you want to learn more about the Lipomoist and how it works and what it brings to this lotion beyond just awesome moisturizing power, make sure you're checking out the blog post, which is linked in the description box below. And if you want to substitute it out because you're not looking to acquire a new ingredient, I also have information on that in the blog post as well. If you've made lotion before, I'm sure this will be an absolute cinch for you. We'll heat up our two heated phases, our heated oil phase, heated water phase, heat them separately, blend them together. It gets really quite thick, really quite quickly because it is just so decadent and gorgeous. And then we will add our cool down phase once it's cool, et voila. Very simple, very lovely, very decadent. So come on, let's get started. We're going to begin by combining the ingredients for our heated water phase and our heated oil phase in two separate heat resistant glass measuring cups. So in this one, I already have 26.38 grams of distilled water. To that, I'm going to add 35 grams rose hydrosol, two grams panthenol, and three grams propanadiol 1,3. For our oil phase, we'll need six grams polo wax, complete emulsifying wax, seven grams kupuatsu butter, nine grams camellia seed oil, and three grams cetyryl alcohol. Before we continue, we are going to weigh our water phase and note that weight so we can make up for any water lost to evaporation during the heating process. Now it's time to melt everything through, so we're going to put both of our phases in this water bath. So this is a wide, flat bottom saute pan with about an inch or three centimeters of water on the bottom of it. And I'm going to go put this on the stove top over medium heat for about half an hour to melt everything through and bring everything to the same temperature. After everything has melted and heated through, we can remove our water bath from the stove and then we can start to remove our parts from the water bath. So the first thing we're going to do is top off any water lost during evaporation. So we're gonna pop this back on the scale and then refer to that note we made earlier about what the weight of this was and we're going to top it off with a bit of preheated distilled water. And then we're going to add that to our oil phase. We're gonna give that a couple quick bursts with our immersion blender. All right, so that was about two minutes of blending. I'm going to leave this to cool for a little bit and then come back and blend it some more. All right, it's been about seven minutes and this is kind of starting to thicken up and clump up a bit. So we are going to give this a nice blending again. Now look at that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous consistency. This is still pretty warm, so uh, we're gonna let that just continue to cool down before we add our cool down ingredients. So 10 minutes later, this has cooled down nicely, so we are going to weigh out our cool down phase. So to weigh out our cool down phase, I have a small dish here on a more precise scale. This is accurate to two decimal points of a gram, but the maximum weight for this scale is 200 grams, so it won't support our full batch of lotions. So we're gonna weigh everything in here first. First things first, we have some Lipomoist 2036 molecular film, and we're going to need seven grams of this. We need 0 0.6 grams of cognac green essential oil, 0.4 grams lemon slices fragrance oil, and make sure you're checking out the blog post for substitution suggestions if you want to use an essential oil instead, 0 0.13 grams of vitamin E oil, and half a gram of liquid Jomo Plus. 
to incorporate, we're going to add a scoop of our otherwise finished lotion to our cool down phase. And then we're going to whisk to combine. You do want to be sure that this cool down dish is nice and smooth before you incorporate it back into the master batch. Otherwise it gets quite difficult. You know, if you, if you add it at this point, you can see it's quite curdled and clumpy looking. Uh, you'll have a hard time getting those clumps out. So you wanna make sure this is nice and smooth before you add it in. And that's that. Now it's time to pop it in our container. For this project, I'm going to use this little 100 milliliter plastic jar from Yellow Bee. If you've been following me, you will have no doubt seen me use these before. Yellow Bee sells these in both black and white and in a variety of sizes, and I absolutely adore them. Uh, so I'm just gonna put that in here. So you can see that this is a really, really, really thick lotion. This lotion will not do well in a pump top bottle. If you've ever had like a Slurpee type beverage and then had, uh, you know, put a straw in there and then you kind of can use the straw for a little while and then you just end up with a lot of Slurpee and a straw sitting in the middle of a hole of Slurpee, with like a great big crater. That is what will happen if you put this in a pump top bottle. So make sure you are not doing that. It might work well in a squeeze bottle or possibly even an airless bottle where there's a floor in the bottle that pushes up rather than a tube that sucks up. So that's also a consideration, but I am choosing to use a jar. And there you go. You just made a beautiful rosé moisturizing body cream. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please remember to check the description box below this video for the full written formula, links to this project on my blog where you'll find links to buy all the ingredients, information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, and a whole lot more. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time.